What is that? All right, so here is Shimu, or Shimo as the original uh, official title of the new monster. Uh, but first off, we're going to start with her accessory. This is the Bifrost Blast. And I actually kind of like it. It really looks like crystal-like ice breath. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool because it's very noticeable about how she shoots ice out of her mouth, technically. Uh, but my my main issue with it is that this is too long because if I mean if you look on the inside of Shimo, the the accessory piece is shorter, whereas this is too long. Like for example, if you try to put it in, it looks great and it holds and it holds up. But because of how long it is, you know, I get it. But hey, it is what it is. So now that I'm done with the accessory out of the way, I want to talk up with Shimo. And I gotta say, she looks great. I didn't understand why I have an issue with her back when I first saw her. She she looks great. Uh, she's got like this crest, a uh, crystal crest as a Ceratopsian like. She's got like this crystal uh, dorsal spikes on her back, and she even got the Thagomizer, which I think. The Thagomizer fits well on Shimo, then Godzilla evolved. And she is so white. Too white. I actually kind of wish they added like some dry brushing on her body. A uh, YouTuber did it, got did a dry brush on like um paint wash. And it looked pretty well. Looks pretty great. Um Yeah, she's got like articulation joint up and down. Left to right. It's the usual. Fun fact about it is that a lot of people, or some people, uh, view Shimo like a ripoff of one of Toho's um, kaijus from Godzilla Unleash. What was it called? Uh, Crystala? That's what it's called? Yeah, this Crystala that appeared in Godzilla Unleash video games. Uh, so yeah, I guess it makes sort of sense that they do both share some similarities to one another. <laughs> But yeah, Shimo's, you know, she's great. I, I'm going to have to give her a four out of five. She's great. Uh, and I'm assuming that she's going to be like the underdog when she comes into conflict with Godzilla. I know she's not going to be an under I mean, I know she's going to nerf Kong pretty badly. Uh, but for Godzilla, I think Shimo would give Godzilla the run of the run of her money. The run of his money, I'm in. Mean. But we're going to do a comparison. Now... The comparison is the GBK one, as much as I love it. Uh, as you can see, on all fours, she's kind of like small, like like a dwarf on all fours. But when you stand her, but when I stand upright, I heard in the officials, she stands 531 feet tall. And Jesus Christ, that is a big monster right there. So we're going to do a comparison to Godzilla next to her. And I did post it a, a photo of, of her comparison. And Jesus H. Christ, she is big. She towers over Godzilla. And I know some of you are going to say, well, where's the Evolve one? Are you going to do a comparison? It's, up, it's in the house. I'm not going to bother. So I'm doing a comparison with this one. And Jesus Christ, she is huge. So she is 531 feet tall. If I remember, Ghidorah was around 520, 21 or 22, I believe. I don't know. I, I got to check it out. But yeah, she, she towers over Godzilla. So basically, she's like the biggest monster in the MonsterVerse. So yeah, pretty sure Godzilla's going to mop the floor out of her. So yeah. As usual, Godzilla always gets a power up, which is really annoying. Getting a plot armor and some stuff. But yeah, the Shimo Shimo is great. Uh, I'm gonna give her, like I said, a solid uh, four out of five. It's great. Has some small flaws in it, but I'm okay with it. I don't mind it. Uh, hopefully, Shimo uh, gives Godzilla the run of his money. At the time when it comes out so yeah hopefully hope you guys enjoy the video if you 
like the review, hit the like button, subscribe, and share this with others. And don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have your personal thoughts of this figure. And don't forget to turn on the notification too if you want to see more of the stuff. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to do another review of the new Empire, which is the Suko and Doug. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'm going to see you all in the next...